Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use form controls and specifically a spin button to modify your inputs just to make uh, the data entry process perhaps a bit easier. So for example here I've got a spreadsheet where I've got a, a product, a cost, and a price based on a markup percentage. So you know I could change this to let's say 26%, see what it would look like, I can change it to 28% and it'll automatically calculate for me. It's a simple formula, it's just taking the cost multiplying it by one plus the markup rate to say how much higher I want the want the price to be but you know let's say you don't want to go in here and constantly change you know 29 and you know it increment one by one right it can be a little bit cumbersome so we can make this a bit user more user friendly and we can do that by using the developer tools so if you don't have the developer tab enabled if you go to file and options there's an option to, to modify the ribbon so that you can see the developer tab. So if you don't see it, that's how you can enable it. And once you've, once you've got this developer tab, there's an option under insert here, you'll see form control. So there's a lot of different things that you can add. There's a button, combo box, you know, check box, and there's this spin button that I'm gonna use. So I've selected it and now you'll see my mouse uh, turns into um, to, to a crosshair. And so now I'm just gonna basically draw out how, how big I want my, my button to be, but I can still adjust it after the fact to make it a bit, a bit smaller. Now, if I click on it, it's not gonna do anything. So if you actually wanna move it, you wanna right click and then grab the edges and then move it closer. So now that I know that this, this button relates to this markup. Now, I still need to connect this markup to this cell because right now it's not doing anything click on it, it's not going to do anything. So if I right click, there's an option to select format control. And if I do that, I'll get an option that pops up that tells me, you know, one, I can set like the incremental change. If there's a maximum, a minimum, what the current value is. So I can change these things. The most important thing is to establish that cell link. So that way, you know, it's going to move that cell link. So if I do that, now the problem is my markup's going up by 100% at a time. That's not what I want. Now if I were to go in here and change this, this format control and say, let's say I want it to increment by 0.01, right? And let's say right now I've got it to 0.25, 25%. Now if I hit okay, The problem with this is this doesn't really work well with, with decimal places. It works it works well with numbers. So if I set it to one, it's still not gonna increment properly, but if I change this um, to have the increment value to one, because it doesn't read decimal places, as you can see, it's reset it to, to zero. So let's set this to 25, right? So there's a couple ways we could do this, especially if we're working with percentages. And because right now, it's obviously way too high. So what I can do in this case is let's say I want to, want to link the cell to, to, here, to here, column C2. So I'll set this one equal to 27 and then say, okay, this is gonna be equal to this divided by 100. Now I got 27%. So now I'll right click, format control this, and now change the cell that it's linked to and select this value here. Hit OK and reset that on there, but it's gotten rid of my, my link in the process. So now I've got it to 4%. There we go. So now it's working properly. So as you can see, now it's a lot easier to manipulate this and adjust this markup accordingly. So I mean, if you wanted to uh, you know, make the changes and see what it looked like. It's a whole lot easier to do this, you know, and to see your values and formulas updating than going through, you know, one by one, entering the, the new value and, you know, making sure that it's um, updating properly. And obviously you can change these, these percentages if you'd want it, uh, to increment by smaller decimal points, then you can you can adjust this format to potentially, you know, divide it by divide it by a thousand. Um, 
that sort of thing and make this this number a bit larger but with um, with using the spin button you have a lot of flexibility because now you know you can just make these changes that'll update this and then you can set your formula here so it'll update based on that and if you don't want this visible obviously you can just set this to white text it's gone and nobody sees it it's still working still working there and and updating so that's an easy way to you know change up some of your inputs especially if you're working with um you know excel users who you know aren't a lot comfortable using excel inputs like these can make it a bit can make the file more more user friendly and and easy to update so to recap the main thing that you want to do when you're adding um the spin button is make sure you've got the developer tab in there and on the insert section under form controls you've got the spin button here so you want to select this one not that activex control just use this one it's easier to use and set up and link to link to a cell and from there it's just a matter of making sure once you format the control you're linking it to the right cell and obviously you can change the increments so if you want to change it change it by so it jumps by five right you don't want to jump by one percent of the time you want to jump by five right you can do that as well so there's a lot of flexibility in how that works and how that's going to update so that's how you can add a form control to your data inputs to make them a bit more user friendly and potentially make your worksheet easier to use hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching